Привет! Как дела? Before we get into today's topic, can you do me a favor? Hit the like and subscribe button below. It's free, it doesn't cost anything. And if you decide you don't like the content, you can always change your mind. So, on a guy shimas. I've been mining for gold in the Super Memo Wiki. Their definition is as following. So, incremental reading is a learning technique that makes it possible to dramatically increase the speed of reading while increasing comprehension, ap applicability, and retention of knowledge. Incremental reading makes it easy to convert articles from the web into knowledge that can last for life. Incremental reading uses spaced repetition to ensure high recall at low cost. We've already been doing some of these similar things in um, Notion and Anki, right? I think what I misunderstood from uh, Super Memo when I was reading about it earlier is the there are some key features that we don't have today in Anki, right? Anki doesn't have first class support for incremental reading. And I think this is one of the things uh, I want to highlight is priority queue. So I'm reading a snippet here from the um, 21 rules of formulating knowledge. I think that was the title. The link will be in the description. So prioritization skills. New students, however smart, are often totally blind to the priority of knowledge. They are unable to judge the extent of the present and future knowledge. They find it difficult to differentiate gold from garbage. Seemingly precious knowledge becomes garbage if it does not pass the priority test that ensures it can never be mastered. The lifetime capacity of the human brain is limited. Without understanding the limits, newcomers to incremental re learning will often embark onto a futile quest for mastering details that would steal room needed for memories that are essential to one's existence professional and beyond. With every passing month and with the constant increase in the size of your knowledge and your collection, in other words, also knowledge to be, you will better understand your ultimate limits. Your knowledge selection skills will keep improving for years to come. So Super Memo lets you prioritize things. That's something we don't have. And I think this is really essential if you're going to be able to switch between uh, reading different articles using incremental reading, you need to have some kind of prioritization in place so that you can figure out, okay, this is the most important thing. I have to learn this and I have to memorize this. So you will see it earlier. But with Notion right now, I have a database called Q and I'm just using it as a Kanban board. So it's not really easy to see what is important because there's no way to see that. We could use filters and so on, but it, it's more automatic in Superman and that's what we need. Um, and there are other features like repetition, auto sort and auto postpone and seeing the hierarchy, right? I'm not saying that the flat tree structure is something we want necessarily, but uh, I really do think it's valuable to be able to see the extracts and close uh, like very easily visually. I'm working on something special called Ichiban. I want to make the incremental reading bits much easier. And I, I think after we ship uh, Notion to Anki version one, I'll be back to Ichiban and work on that project and uh, try to get some of these other features we have Ichiban. And uh, that way you could use Anki and Notion in uh, a different way for incremental reading. There are tools trying to get this and uh, it's just more mushed together, right? So you can't technically, I guess, if we follow the super memo definition, it's not really truly incremental reading, even though you can capture web pages and then save them into Notion and then read them at your own time and then convert that via Notion to Anki into Anki uh, flashcards and use space repetition. So you do have some of the elements, but um, I hope to tackle that. I don't have time to tackle it right now, but I'm hoping, yeah, let's say uh, after September, maybe I'll get time then. And then uh, I have some prototypes because there, there is something called the KG method, which seems to be very interesting. And uh, that's uh, where my prototypes have been um, around. And I hope to bring a new user interface where we can, um, interact much more interestingly with the data. And now that the Notion API is uh, a thing and uh, it might actually be even stable at that point, then uh, it's gonna be interesting to use Notion as your database and uh, build some really 
cool tools on top. Yeah, so you can probably hear. I'm excited. Are you excited? Let me know in the comments what you think about incremental reading and uh, paka.